Hey, welcome back to Bridgeway 513. I am Jonathan Laura, your faithful servant. Driving, whoa, whoa! I'm Bridgeway 513. And do what I say, he say what it means. I'm driving and you just went flying! Okay. I'm obviously driving my truck from Alaska back down to California. Create in me a clean heart, oh God. Let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength. Teach me your song. Shelter me in the shadow of your wing. Driving 130 kilometers per hour down the 97 freeway, I am booking through British Columbia. That's in Canada, okay? I flew out to Anchorage, Alaska, that's me landing right there. And my nephew, Theodore, picked me up in Anchorage, and we drove out to Homer for a beautiful night at my sister's house, which was lovely. Thank you. You guys are always so kind to me, and I just love everything about you. Thank you for that. And that next morning, that Saturday morning, I got my new truck. Okay, now this is a 2005 Ram 3500 Laramie that I purchased from Benjamin. He's on vacation, he's at an all-inclusive vacation spot in Lompoc, okay? So I purchased his last vehicle to make sure that he could pay all of his bills and have a little bit of money for his commissary, okay? But I had to fly up to Anchorage to get it. And now I'm driving back to sunny Southern California. Okay, so obviously I'm in a pretty good mood, but I've been cooped up in this cab for now, today is the fifth day. And I don't know if you understand exactly what happens when you drive the Alcan Highway. Okay? First of all, when you go through Alaska, it's beautiful. You go through this massive ravine. You drive up this thing, and it just seems to go up and up in the skaggy mountains that you drive through, all the way through Homer, and through Soldatna, and through Sterling, and through Hope, and then through Copper Landing. Is it Cooper Landing? I think it's Copper Landing. I mean, Cooper Landing. You drive all the way into Anchorage, and there's these beautiful cliffs on one side, and the, the bay on the other side, and the bay just brings in all of this water like super fast. It's just this amazing thing. On the right side, you see these skaggy mountains that have water that's coming out of them, and the water freezes into these cool side mountain icebergs that are real rocky and kind of blue. Did you see how blue that was? That was pretty cool. So by the time you get out of Alaska, you cross into the Yukon. And I mean the second you cross into the Yukon, no cell phone service. Say bye-bye to Google. No more YouTube. No more Facebook. They all go away. So for five days, I've been cooped up in this truck with no internet, no radio, no one to talk to, okay? Now, I did pull over and help this nice family that had a flat tire. This one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, like a star. Okay, hands tighten. Don't strip my bolts. They are heading to Montana, and the, the lady, uh, Ava, Ava White, she had to do all the work. Now, she's a real Alaskan woman while her sons, three of her sons were just standing around. She said, I know you're wondering why I'm doing all the work while my sons are standing around. And I was like, no, I'm not wondering that. Alaskan women are amazing. I'm finally almost through the Alcan. I've got about a thousand kilometers left to go before I get to Vancouver. And then I cross into Washington and then I'll have cell phone service again. I can't talk to anybody on the phone. I can't listen to anything on the internet. I can't Google directions. I can't do anything. And all I've been doing is singing and praying and meditating on all of the things that my followers asked me to do over the next two and a half years, okay? For the next 60 days, I'm going to gradually bring you into the truth of what Paul calls the dispensation of the grace of God, which he was given by Jesus Christ himself. Okay, so just real quick. Last week we were talking about the very special scripture that Jesus gave to Paul. Well, 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God. 
a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Jesus gave Paul a special dispensation. And it's for us to study all the scriptures, because all the scriptures are the word of truth. But we have to learn which of those scriptures apply specifically to this time period. Okay, now it makes sense. So I'm really glad you're going to hang out. This is just a quick video. Probably not even going to edit that much of it because I just wanted to upload something so that you guys can know that I'm thinking about you. Okay? Can't wait. I got so much to teach you. We're going to talk about the different dispensations. We're going to talk about the different denominations. Okay? Why they're all there. Okay? It's really simple. Once you see this, your, your mind is just going to go, why didn't I think of that earlier? And the reason why is because Satan doesn't want you to be powerful in your life. But I want you to be powerful, okay? It doesn't matter who you are, black, white, or indifferent. It just doesn't matter. I want you to have strength and knowledge. And Bridgeboy 513 is going to deliver that for you in 2020. Once again, thanks for watching Bridgeboy 513. I am Jonathan Laura, and I am going to say goodbye for now. Sayonara. Bridgeboy 513, and do what it say. Bridgeboy 513, and do what it say.